Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, um, another field trip, uh, because uh, I got invited to come and have a look and talk to one of the UK uh, companies that is qualified to train people and sort of accredit them to fly uh, drones, UAVs, commercially, uh, to make a living out of them. Uh, and I thought that would be really interesting because there are quite a few of them these days and it would be interesting to see what kind of differentiates them other than a swishy website and some pricing. So I sort of jumped on the chance to go and have a chat. Um, but before we go any further, it's the kitchen table. Whenever we're discussing drones or drone related matters, we like to have a beverage uh, early morning recording session. So I'm on the coffee uh, in the uh, in the kitchen table mug. And today it's, um, it's an Ethiopian mocha. So um, cheers. Oh, that's hot. That's a very fresh one. So, <clears throat> yes, um, I, 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 I get a constant sort of steady drip of questions from people saying, oh, you know, I, I want to uh, turn my hobby into a business or I've got a business plan involving drones. Which, which company do you recommend? And to be honest, I, I don't recommend any because I haven't gone through it myself. But I also don't have any benchmark. There's no way we can, where you can go. I mean, you don't necessarily want to go with the cheapest. Um, nor do you necessarily want, need, need to go for the one that ha puts so many bells and whistles on. So when I was approached by Rusta, R-U-S-T-A, one of the um, newer, newer, they've been running for almost a year now, newer entities, part of the Rheinmetall group, so a big kind of conglomerate. Um, and they said, look, come and, have a, come and have a chat with us. We'll explain what we do. Come to one of our courses and meet some of the candidates who've, uh, at the end of it. And, and by all means, go away with them and have a chat and see what they really think. And I thought, well, that's quite refreshingly upfront rather than you know, providing me with somebody who they vetted. Um, so I spoke to Sean Roberts, who's their head of academy. Uh, and uh, he invited me down to uh, one of their courses. They hold them around the, the country. This one, this was a ground school course being held in Berkhamsted. And um, I went to go and see him. And also it was the last day, uh, the candidates had finished all their exams. Everyone had passed the ground school. Uh, and so I also took the opportunity to grab a couple of them and ask them what they think. Um, and it's been a little while. This was done in the in, in summer, and I can't remember exactly when, but it's been a while because um, I've been, uh, A, had lots of other stuff to do, and B, I've also just managed to negotiate a deal for viewers. If you want to go to get your commercial permission for aerial work from the CAA and we and you, you like the, the sound of a ruster as a provider, then if you watch through to the end after these uh, brief interviews, you'll... Um, you'll find a, a discount code which will get you £100 off their course. So anyway, uh, let's have a chat with Sean Roberts, the uh, the head of academy for Ruster Training. So Ruster is part of Ryan Metall uh, Technical Publications based down in Bristol, which is part of a bigger German uh, company. It's been, uh, Ruster was formulated and conceived last July and uh, we have a training wing in Ryan Metall that could see the benefit in UAV training for commercial purposes. So in July, the ball got rolling with the CAA to get the QE process underway. I joined the team in October, having just got back from the States and uh, ending my RAF career. We got uh, all signed off by the CAA in February and we've been operating since March and we've just conducted our 15th course. We do courses in Bristol, but we also do courses here in Berkhamsted. We do courses in Lincoln, and we have offices in Blackpool where we conduct courses as well. We've conducted courses in Edinburgh in Scotland, and we're doing another one next month. And we're also looking at expanding into central London, and we have our first Wembley course in August. I think with Rusta, uh, people choose us because overall we want to impart that knowledge on them. We want them to operate as safely as possible. My goal uh, as head of academy is that when any graduate, any candidate finishes, that they are in no doubt about the rules and regulations and they're operating to the safest possible standard. So we focus mainly on rules and regulations and safety and ensuring that our candidates and, uh, who graduate from the, from the academy are in no doubt what's allowed and what's not allowed. But you know, the course dynamic was brilliant. Um, it was informative. Nobody even looked as if they were going to fall asleep at any time. Um, exercises and content, yeah, extremely useful. But certainly, yes, it was, it was well presented. It, the facilities have been excellent. Um, I enjoyed it. And 
from what's coming up, they seem to provide practical and useful help to getting the ops manual done. Um, and I also like the idea of their flight test, where it's basically you've got to fly a mission as if you were doing it as a commercial job, rather than any aerobatics or figures of eights or whatever. It just seems to make sense to me. The type of uh, clientele we have on the course varies. It's quite a wide spectrum from your freelance photographers to movie makers uh, to uh, mainstream news people. We've just had ABC News. We've had Game of Thrones. We uh, have many freelance photographers, industrial inspection uh, type uh, industry chaps uh, and people who are just really interested in getting into it as a business. It's incredibly uh, it's, it's growing at an incredible scale and a lot of people are just generally interested. The aircraft that they're using range from the ubiquitous DJI Phantom in all its many shapes and forms to homemade uh, aircraft that we, we've seen to things shipped from America like the Agrobotics. We just had one guy who had a Solo and Cinestar type aircraft. Interestingly, we haven't had many fixed wing uh, candidates yet, but we think that will, will increase as, as the industry takes off. So the reason I decided to uh, work towards the uh, PFAW is because, uh, two reasons, so I was a hobbyist um, in the first instance, really into the whole kind of, uh, can I use the D word, the drone scene, which we, we're trying to avoid at the moment. Um, and, and with that, and with people knowing that you're into that type of thing, business opportunities get presented. Um, I got some contacts in the uh, in the film industry and also in construction as well. So it was more of a well, rather than go headlong into a uh, you know a, a business plan, it's kind of okay. Well, just it could you can make this fairly cost neutral if you're already doing it as a hobby, and just see what comes of it. So apart from the course, it's been it's been all, all you know fairly fairly simple to. To, uh, to work through. The reason I, I chose to use Ruster is because, uh, so in the first instance, you've got a choice on the CAA website. Um, and I, and I kind of went through them all um, and looked at the balance between cost and, uh, you know, how legit these guys look. There's only so much due diligence you can do. And yeah, I think on face value and, and the price, I mean, they're certainly they're not the cheapest organization, but it just felt like they knew uh, what they were doing. Certainly over some, some of them, you know, are, are a concern. Some look amazing, but are, are too expensive and, and probably too long. So it's just, yeah, just striking a balance, I guess. So the ground, uh, ground school phase I found uh, just unbelievably valuable. So it's, it's exposed me to so many parts of this industry um, and this time that I just didn't even know, didn't know existed uh, from the, you know, the considerations around shared airspace through to the dangers, through to the, you know, things that other people are doing. Um, so it's been massively useful and we've done a lot of flight planning exercises and yeah, it just feels like, you know, it, it feels a lot more serious, but you, you feel part of a, you know, quite a large um, a large and interesting and exciting community now, so it's a yeah, good feeling. The Ruster is uh, in our infancy, we're continually trying to improve the course. We take criticism from, from all our graduates and, and strive to make it better. So every course is better and we're improving on what I believe is a great product already. We are the only QE that offers an interactive e-learning package prior to the course starting which all the candidates have had positive feedback uh, to, to ourselves and we are, we are moving that forward. And as a whole, we get the guys through very, very quickly. Uh, our record is three weeks and uh, we're looking at bringing that down to about two and a half weeks. So uh, please go to www.uastraining.com and find out more about Ruster. So there we go. As you could see from though the comments there from the one-on-one -on -one interviews I did with the candidates. And don't forget these guys are customers. They've paid up their money. Um, and so they are perfectly uh, in, in the perfect position to actually say at the end of the ground school if they think that they're you know, getting what they've paid for. And I have to admit, all, all, I haven't come across any negative feedback um, from, from anybody who's been on a Ruster course. Um, the people I spoke to off the record um, at, the, at the meeting, and there were probably 15, 20 delegates on that course, all kind of 
to a person were, 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 were positive. Uh, and again, as I say, uh, you know, nobody was put up in front of me. I actually just asked uh, asked people if anyone would be prepared to, to have a chat and uh, a couple of volunteers and it was all off, off, it was all off the cuff. So that's great. Um, I also haven't had any feedback, wider feedback from anyone uh, with, you know, to, to, with anything negative to say about the training provided by Rusta. So uh, to that end, um, they've also uh, said to me, look, um, we'd like people to, to come and train with us, obviously. So they're going to give viewers to this channel. If you want to do your permission for aerial work and turn your hobby into a business or you have a business idea, then you need uh, a permission. Then uh, we've got a, a discount code that will give you £100 off a course which is pretty cool. So either on their website, which is uastraining.com, or via email or via telephone, however you book or inquire, if you use the code word kitchen table, you will get 100 pounds off your course, which is a, yeah, no, is a reasonable discount. And, uh, and that, that, that's, that's great. So if it looks like something you wanna do and you like the, the look of what Rusta has to offer, then as I said, if, they're gonna, if you're gonna go down that route, then you may as well use the kitchen table code and get yourself £100 off. There we go. Um, I hope that was interesting and useful. Like I said, it's maybe we need a Go Compare website for training organisations. There are so many now. I can remember back in the days when I did my video on how you get uh, qualified to use your drone commercially, there were only two organisations I could send you to. Now there are upwards of 15. Um, so it was really interesting to go and, and have a see what makes them different and why, you know, what people who've actually paid money think about it. So thanks to Rusta for, you know, having the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the confidence and the guts, if you like, to sort of completely give me, give me free reign on that. And thanks to the people who volunteered to sort of let me know what they think. So there we go. Many thanks as ever for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope you found that interesting if it was something that you're looking into. And I really appreciate everybody who supports the channel, whether it's just by liking the videos, by just watching the videos, sharing them around, um, particularly if you've chosen to support the channel by buying your supporter mug or by becoming a channel patron or doing your doing your Christmas shopping with some of the some of the links that throw me a few pennies. They're all down in the description. I thank all of you for any or all of the above. Um, so yeah, see you next time back on the kitchen table. Until then. Cheers.